How's it going, everyone? My name is Lionel, and welcome to Stuck in a Yandere Visual Novel. Help! Which seems like the story of my life at this point. But hey, I'm not here to complain. I'm here to have a good time with you. Anyway, let's get right into it, shall we? My eyes open to a dark room, and I groan as I try to rub the blurriness from my vision. Try to rub? Something feels wrong as I lift my right hand. What's that in front of me? I blink as my eyes focus on two. My breathing accelerates, my heartbeat thundering in my ears as I stare at the bloody mass inches from my face. The skin is pulled off, muscles clear to the eye with blood and veins glistening over bones and sinew. What's this? <laughs> I try to pull it away from my face with my hands, but find nothing reaching it, only for the mutilated hand to wave itself in front of me. I crank my head away, but find a restraint on my neck preventing much movement. And that's when I see it. The scream is stuck in my throat. I... I don't understand. I don't understand. The mutilated hand is attached to my elbow. It is attached to my shoulder. It's attached to my neck. It's attached to... Me. <laughs> oh, hi there. So that's how it works. Rem? She's here? Where is she? I struggle to turn my head around to search for her. My eyes are clearing. Possibly thanks to the shock and adrenaline rush. Oh, hi there. There, standing against the window. The moon bright and full as the backdrop. My science project partner grins down at me. Reme? Reem? What's going on? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've already studied your nerves, so I removed those, remember? Just in case, I added in a good dose of anesthetic. You don't feel any pain in your arms as we keep going. Reme, stop. What are you doing? Why? Why? Well, that's the very reason, right? I don't know why, so I have to find out why. There are so many things in this world I don't understand. I've got to discover on my own how everything works. Now hold still as I go further, okay? I want to see in my own eyes how everything rotates when you move your arms, so I have to cut some more. She holds up a scalpel and my heart starts thumping wildly in my chest. Is this it? Is this how I'll spend the rest of my life? Yes. Remis plaything? Oh god. I never, never should have talked to her. Never should have tried to light up those blank eyes. I thought she needed someone. But she only ever needed a science project. Oh! Well, that's it for that game. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, oh, that's the end. Ah, not bad. I'm glad I saved uh, Rem's route as the last. She's pretty intense. The nerve removal scene was probably the worst thing in the game. The final scene wasn't nearly as terrifying. I wonder why they decided to do that. Did the dev chicken out? I grinned proudly as I leaned back against my chair and stared at the 100% completion screen. All in all, it was a fun visual novel with a number of unique endings for the three love interests. Vincent, Leon, the other two interests, while not as interesting as Rem, were fun as well. Can I even call Rem a love interest? She was never interested in the main character in the end. The story has a small suggestion to try playing visual novels that feature Yandere love interests, but now I'm hooked. Don't call me out like that. It's almost therapeutic. I've always liked the archetype. It always keeps me on my toes. And this game had Yandere leads for all three routes, so it was a real treat. Yeah, gotta thank my coworker tomorrow for lending me this one. If I can muster the courage to talk to him, that is. I turn on my monitor and stand up from my computer desk. I can evolve the imaginary conversations I want to my coworker, but nothing will beat the real thing as long as I make it to work tomorrow. I hurry and get ready for bed. After all, the early bird gets the worm. Ah, beep beep. Damn it, it's in morning already? I roll over and slap the snooze button on my alarm. Just straight up slap it! It's fine. I always set my alarm extra early so I can hit snooze a few more times after getting up. Uh, I'll admit, it's a bad habit, but this is just how I live now. Okay, just one more time. What? The door in my room flies open. I struggle to pull the blankets off my head as I hear a pair of angry slippers stomping towards me. Big bro. Quit hitting snooze and just get up already. I shiver as the cover suddenly disappear from the bed. No amount of curling up could retain the heat I lost. Huh? I groggily blink my eyes and push myself up to a sitting position. Through my bangs, I spy an angry redhead. What's the matter? Did you stay up late last night? 
Uh, me? No, no, no. You're being ridiculous. I struggle to keep myself upright, but... But... I slum back against the headboard. It's no use. The world's blurring and I find myself tilting. Big bro. Hey, don't fall back asleep. The redhead shakes me until I grunt out a response. I'm up, I'm up. Ugh. Good. I woke up early today just to make breakfast for a change. I know I said feel free to sleep in last night, but it's taking forever. We're gonna be late for school. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Hmm. As he leaves the room, shutting the door behind him. Huh? School? I'm not in school anymore. Last I checked, I was an only child. I was an only child. Suddenly, I'm wide awake. This isn't my room. These aren't my clothes. Where am I? What is that? Was there a translucent box hovering in air in front of me? Oh. And it's repeating all my thoughts. Oh god, what is going on? What does it look like a visual novel text box? Uh, oh, it is. I'm hallucinating a graphic interface floating in front of me. Did I eat something funny last night? Also, what's wrong with my hair? I know I often have bedhead in the morning, but how did all my hair get shoved in front of my eyes? I tug at my bangs, sweeping them back and hoping they'd stay. No such luck. I stare at my hands. I had pulled a few strands of black hair out from all the tugging. I don't have black hair, do I? I rub my eyes with the other hand. Yep, still black. I jump out of bed and run to the mirror across the room to take a good look at myself. Oh, holy poo, holy poo, holy poo! A panicked young man stared at me from the mirror. Without a doubt, this is the image of the man several years younger than me. Hell, he doesn't even look like he made it out of high school. Oh god, come on! This stuff only happens in web novels and anime! This can't be real! It can't be happening to me! No way! Okay, let's see. Whoa! Okay, dreaming? Um, I, you know, just... Transmorgified into someone else's body? Or I'm having a psychotic breakdown? I believe I'm having a psychotic breakdown. That's what I'm going for. What the hell is this? There are more floating boxes now and they look like visual novel options? This is insane. I look at the boxes again, one voicing my thoughts and the other menu options for selection. What will happen if I try selecting them? Uh, I'm having a psychotic breakdown. Nothing happened. Oi, big bro, you better not have fallen back asleep. I... I didn't. I'll be right out. I'll think about this later. I need to get out of here. My sweep across the room as I gather my thoughts. I can't remember anything about myself, and I remember living a completely separate life. Is that the definition of a psychotic breakdown? First things first, I need to get dressed and find a way to keep all this hair out of my face. How does this person see with hair like this? Like, why and? Like, how do you see with hair like that? Rifling through the closet, I finally find a hairband with a heart pen attached to it. Wait, hang on a second. Okay, this is much better. I now look like a generic uh, visual novel character. Well, then again, this isn't much of a difference. I am a generic visual novel character. No wonder everyone's watching me. Huh. Rifling through the closet, I finally find a hairband with a heart pen attached to it. Not my style, but I can't find anything else, so it'll have to do. Great, now that I can see, regardless of whether this psychotic breakdown, I need to find out who I'm supposed to be. I look at the floating text boxes, given the hairstyle, it's safe to assume he's the main character of a visual novel. Perhaps I did transmigrate. This is a pretty specific symptom I'm experiencing. No matter. I should work on figuring out this person's identity. This UI looks familiar. And that boy who came to wake me up looks familiar too. I searched through the desk for more information, but to my frustration, I couldn't find any notebooks to indicate the person's name. The only useful information I could glean was the date, February 2nd. What? Did I hit a flag? Huh. February 2nd. Is there something special about today's date? No, I think that's date 2 out of 2. It feels like I'm forgetting something important. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. Dreams, psychotic breakdown, or transmigration. For now, I need to join my brother for breakfast before he gets even more annoyed at me. 
I wonder how he'd react to finding out I'm not really his brother. I better not ask until I can confirm what sort of person he is. Maybe he's a yonder too. Finally! My brother flips the last pancake onto the plate. He sets it down on the table in front of me. <laughs> yeah, trying something new today. He not just a spatula towards my forehead. Uh, I freeze. Did I screw up already? I like it. Maybe now you stop walking into things all the time. <laughs> yeah. The protagonist of this game walks into things all the time and continues to wear his hair like this? Is there something wrong? No. What the heck? His nameplate doesn't include a name. It just says brother. Why is that? Certainly he has a name. Or did the game's writers leave it out to avoid giving him a personality? <laughs> Not hungry this morning. What? No! I hear you take a bite of pancake and... Crack? I removed the pancake from my mouth and run my tongue over my teeth to make sure nothing chipped off. That pancake's harder than a biscuit. How did he manage to do that without burning the whole thing? I'm so sorry. He quickly takes my plate from me and tosses both sets of pancake into the trash before swinging open the fridge door and returning to the table with a loaf of bread and butter. You were right, I really shouldn't have tried cooking. No, it was... fine. I'll leave cooking to you after all. Great. I don't remember the last time I made something that was an instant ramen. I'll worry about that tomorrow. I take a bite of my toast and watch my brother do the same. He looks familiar, but I can't quite pin where he's from. He finishes his breakfast and stands for the table. Hurry up while you have to finish out on the train. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Then it hits me. The UI. His design. Name tag only as brother. It's the last visual on my plane! <laughs> Big bro? I startle, then catch myself back on the chair. I'm... I'm fine. I lift my eyes to see him staring back at me in concern. There's no doubt about it. The red hair, the punk love core aesthetic. Like, jeez, it's definitely him. I didn't realize at first since Brother didn't have much of a role in the game. The star is a small suggestion to try playing visual novels that feature Yandere love interests, but now I'm hooked. It's almost therapeutic. I always liked that archetype. Those love interests always keep me on my toes. And this one had Yandere as all three love interests, so it was a real treat. I swallow. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. You look a bit pale. Maybe you should stay home. Have I really transmigrated into a Yandere only visual novel? Big bro? I'm fine. I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm fine and then delicious. Really, if you're sick, don't hide it. You already can't win the perfect attendance record anymore, thanks to catching the flu last month. Take a day off if you need it. I'm fine. Uh, I want to relive my high school day as much less under such stressful circumstances. But I can't just disappear. There's one love interest in this game who already knows the main character and would hunt him down to the ends of the earth. I still have the chance to escape the other two since they don't know I exist yet, but... If you really say so. Yeah, let's just go. Huh. I don't know what to do! Everyone wants to be the star of a transmigration story until it turns out you've migrated into the story of someone in with a Yandere love interest! Well, honestly, that's a dream come true for me and a lot of people on Twitter. Ugh. Calm down, calm down. I'll get nowhere if I panic. In fact, things might be even worse if I do. Bro. Yes, what do you want? I still don't have time to myself. Probably homeroom. I need to figure out a game plan. Hey, big bro. What are you doing? Huh? huh? I'm going to school. We normally don't go together. Isn't there someone you have to meet up with? Uh... Something happened? Did you guys have a fight? Huh? Oh no. Oh, no. Did I screw up already? Right. Leon. Crap. I'll be right back. Smack. I turn around and run into someone's chest. Oh, darn, I'm so sorry. Did you forget about me? I, I don't mind being stuck here. Like, don't worry about it, guys. I, I'm fine. I'm fi I am absolutely fine being here. Oh, oh, hi. 
I look up to find an athletic young man with a soft expression and light pink hair. A nervous expression paints his face and tears dot the edge of his eyes. If I didn't know any better, I'd assume he was a giant crybaby teddy bear. I mentioned earlier that one of my love interests would hunt me down to the ends of the earth if I disappeared. That's Leon. It's definitely useless to run now. <sighs> Leon. Yandere love interest number one. He's the main character's childhood best friend and a great athlete. Currently, he's on a basketball team. He's been in love with the main character for eight years now, but still hasn't confessed. Also, generally docile, he becomes violent if the player rejects his advances or distances themselves from him. But a happy end is available if the player chooses to ignore all the mysterious disappearances around Leon. I hate to say it, but out of all the three Yandere's, I'm actually most likely to survive if I get on his route. It's easy. All I have to do is pretend to love him, which isn't hard. Like, look at him. Look at Leon. Like, seriously, take a good look at him. I want that. I want that so badly. All right. Leon, I'm really sorry. It slipped my mind this morning. I didn't mean to. Oh, what have I done? In the game, there wasn't an option to skip meeting up with Leon. I just completely forgot and kept walking my brother. Why didn't the game do anything to alert me? Hello? God? System? Overlord of the universe? Shouldn't you be intervening with some sort of help? More importantly, does this mean that I've already lost affection points with Leon? Ah! Any other visual novel and this would have been fine. But I don't want to have my head beaten in with a baseball bat. I don't want to die. Look, I'll make it up to you, okay? We can get ice cream together after school. <laughs> like a date? Oh, I mean... Wait, should I be casually agreeing to this? I'd love to. Uh, little bro, do you want to come along too? Huh? Little bro? Well, sure, if you don't mind. Yeah, the more the merrier. Wait, is Leon into the both of us? Is there a road where Leon, like... Has the bova like me and my little oh god, that is wrong. Ew, it's a good thing that Leon's the type that wants his target of affection to be happier. If I remember correctly, it's what allowed the other routes in the game to work. If the player chose to play the other routes, Leon drops by occasionally to give love advice because as long as you're happy, I'm happy. I did not need to get this attached to any character within the first 15 minutes of playing. Like, I haven't even met you that much yet. I wonder if Leon ever got revenge for the main character in the other character's bad ends. That would be really sweet. Ah, Yandere's in fiction do make my heart flutter. Reality is a whole different matter, though. What are you talking about? My heart is definitely fluttering right now. Even if someone loved me enough to kill my murderers, it wouldn't matter if I were already dead. By the way, you're trying a new hairstyle. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's really cute. Thank you. I give a polite smile and hope he doesn't notice my stutter. The train arrives and we all get on. Thankfully, Leon starts a conversation with my brother about sports, leaving me some time to think. Really, seeing him like this, I would never think he'd become homicidal if I say the wrong things. A little sigh. It doesn't matter. I look at the two chatting again and ask before I think better of it. Hey, how would you guys react if I said I'm a different person from yesterday? I also love you for who you are. Me too. No, I mean, um, what if I was someone completely different? Like, if I were a stranger who just woke up in this body today. Ask if you need more sleep. <laughs> but find a way to bring you back. I won't stand for someone else stealing your body. <laughs> Leon, people can switch bodies. If my brother said that, he would. He should see a doctor. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but if someone stole his body, yeah, I definitely wouldn't forgive them. I'll cut them into pieces to find a way to reverse the process. Uh... Why would you need to cut them into pieces? If they manage something as novel and dangerous as body swapping, they probably won't give it back so easily. So I'm prepared to torture the information out of them. <laughs> I think you've been watching too many movies, Leon. Anyway, what do you ask? Huh? Uh, it was a scene from a web novel I was reading last night. The way the character's friends reacted to the question was so out there and I... Couldn't help wondering if how people would actually react to it. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's, that's all there is. <laughs> well, uh, were our were our reactions anything like theirs? No. What 
web novel were you reading? I like to read it too. Oh, it's called Stuck in a Yendere Visual Novel. <laughs> Why do I keep digging myself into deeper holes? Sorry, I forgot the title. All right. I'll check my history tonight to see if I can find it. Great, just let me know. Anyway, I've got some homework I need to do, so I'm going to sit over there because uh, it's quiet to focus, you know? Sure. Cool. Talk with you in a bit. With that, I quickly turn and leave them. You think he's acting a bit odd today? His hairstyle is different, but I think it's really cute. That wasn't what I meant, but okay. Once I found a seat at the calmer end of the train car, I pull out a notebook from my bag and start scribbling down everything I remember from the game. The first love interest is Leon. After that is... Ah, <sighs> Vincent. Yandere love interest number two. The second is Vincent, who comes from an extremely wealthy family. Uh, I don't like him already. I mean, he's cute, but I don't like him. He rules the school and gets away with doing whatever he wants by threatening anyone with his financial power. Who would choose him? I know some people out there would, but ugh. Apparently, he never realized all of his friends were either leeches or scared of him. When he finds out, he has a breakdown. If the player chooses to console him after that, his route starts and he becomes focused on ensuring he remains the main character's one and only friend forever. I want to be one to like that. We know this isn't a time to dream, dream about imaginary man that became real overnight. I like Vince's protective and jealous personality in fiction. I don't want to be poisoned and locked in his basement for eternity in exchange for it. Anyway, I can just avoid his route altogether if I just don't console him. Easy. Reme. Yandere love interest number three. The third love interest is Reme, an antisocial genius with a secret fan club throughout the school. The route starts with the main character offering to be a partner for the science fair, but then he just becomes her torture victim. And I'm pretty sure she never liked the protagonist. It's too bad, a sadistic Yandere who get jealous if anyone else dare to torture a victim would have been wonderful. But the route didn't turn out that way. I'm pretty sure, like, she's just a young Gire, though. Why are you blushing? Good, good. Uh, I thought I was feral. But then I look at you and I'm like, my dude, you've got good taste. Either way, her route only had death ends. Horrible, gruesome death ends. Thankfully, I can circumvent her route completely by never talking to her. No one would even question it. I mean, yeah, I guess, like, the obvious choice here is Leon. After ruminating over the facts for a while, I sneak a glance at Leon and my brother. <laughs> They're still having a lively conversation, and goddamn that laugh. Oh, goddamn. I want to hear more of him. Looks like the only one I can't avoid is Leon. Uh, it could be much worse. Leon actually has a good end where I survive. Sure, others can die, but it's just a game. Oi, big bro, it's time to get off. Yeah, coming. I didn't even hear the PA system or anything. There's still a bit of time before our first period starts, so a few students are sitting outside classrooms or getting food from the cafeteria. If I remember correctly, the main character traditionally spends his time in the cafeteria before class. This is so lame. Who hangs out at the cafeteria when they arrive early for school? There's like three malls, a theater, and a park nearby. Okay, big bro, I'll see you later. Wait, what? Huh? I'm gonna hang out with my friends. Yeah, but <laughs> I'll see you after school for ice cream. No! Uh, don't leave me alone, Leon! And he's gone. Let's go get breakfast. No, wait, Leon! He starts towards the cafeteria, and I'll walk, keeping a few feet behind him as we walk. Now wait, the cafeteria. That's where Vincent... I should avoid that. How about we get breakfast at the pizzeria? I don't want junk food for breakfast. And the cafeteria food is supposed to be better? Then let's skip school for today and go somewhere. Just the two of us. Just the two of us? I feel like I'm sowing seeds for the dangerous attachment here, but I have to make sure I stay on this route. I'd love to go with you, but school is important. Besides, I have to practice for my game. Um, you're really stealing my heart here, Leon. Why did he have to be the good boy time? You could just come back for practice later. Even the school didn't catch me sneaking back in. What if we're caught by the police? I could get in trouble. What if I get arrested? It'll be on my record forever. But this the guy that ends up committing murders for me? How? Come on, let's get going. How about we wait outside of the classroom? 
No way, I'm hungry. Hold on, we can Huh? What the? No, no we, we locked in a cafeteria already! Look, Leon, why don't we... No! The students around us stopped their tracks to look towards the source of the commotion. What was that? It's way too early in the morning for drama. No, no, <laughs> no. Vincent stands in the center of a group of friends, holding his head in his hands. Somehow, he's still handsome despite the anguish on his face, sparkling even under the dull cafeteria light. Like he's the princess begging for the main character to swoop in and save him. Classic him and Dere. Huh. If I looked half as good when having a mental breakdown, maybe someone would have come to rescue me. Uh, the love core aesthetic is strong in this game. Vincent, it's not what you... Don't touch me! Vincent, please. Don't call me that! Get away from me. Vincent breaks out of the circle of friends and runs past us out of the cafeteria. Vincent! Leave him alone. We never wanted to talk with him anyway. That's you. I still want caviar every weekend and helicopter rides over skyscrapers. Jesus, I hate these guys. Dude, he just realized you were using him. You're just adding fuel to the fire. Give it a rest, okay? The conversation between Vincent's friends soon devolved into a debate on whether they should talk with Vincent, with a few voices quite loudly that they shouldn't at all. Wow. Wow indeed. As if anyone would verbally announce how shallow they are in real life. If I didn't see the floating tax boxes earlier, this would have been the moment where I realized that I was living in a video game. Anyway, let's go get breakfast. With that, Leon walks off towards the breakfast line. Video game logic. How can anyone in real life just ignore that? Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, I should be given a choice here to chase up to Vincent, start his route, or follow Leon. I waited a little while longer, but no menu options appear. But before I could ponder further, Hey, don't you want food? Class is about to start. N no thanks. I I already ate. You did not eat! Don't lie to me! Still, I c accompany him to get his food there, as there is still time before class starts. Once I find a place to sit, Leon wolves down the whole tray of food in a matter of minutes. Yep, that's typical athlete for you. Mmm. <sighs> There's no way that could have tasted good. I refuse to believe it based on my own experience with school food. I sure don't want any. The banana bread was really good. <sighs> Not really, but I can give you a second helping if you want. <laughs> you know me so well. Alright, I'll donate my portion to you. It's food I'll go to waste otherwise, anyways. I stand from the table and start towards the breakfast line. I barely take three steps before I see Leon get up from the corner of my eye. Huh? Um, why are you getting up? Because you're getting food. I don't follow. Come on, let's go before the bell rings. Just wait here, Leon. I can get a tray and bring it back for you. Mm. Nah, I'll come with you. Huh? huh? Why? It's literally across the room. It doesn't have to come with me. Ugh. Follows me to get food. Then, when I try to get a drink of water, he escorts me too. Of course, he doesn't see the problem with this and flashes me a grin as we return to the table. <laughs> Thanks for the breakfast. No problem. <laughs> huh? Like a baby chick. I ship it. Aww. Yeah, I thought it was cute in the game too, but I really don't need a chaperone. Huh? Is everything alright? Just fine. The second breakfast disappears in a blink of an eye. As I was pondering how much of this I have to bear, the bell rings. I quickly stand and start out of the cafeteria. Oh! Wait up! He's still following me. Do we share our first class, Leon? Today? No, we don't have any classes together until tomorrow. Then why are you following me? I take a deep breath to calm myself down. Shouldn't you head to your class then? We're gonna be late. Now I can run really fast and I'm tall enough to push through the crowd. <laughs> I always have time to walk you to your class. Man, I love Leon. I'm gonna miss you. I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you after school. It's way too long. I'm so sad we don't share any classes on Monday. I'll see you later, Leon. I walk past him into my classroom, finally leaving him to tearfully wave goodbye from the doorway. I might be losing affection points, but I can't breathe like this. Did he hover this much in a game? 
can't remember. How in the world did the main character suffer through eight years of this? The second bell hasn't rung yet, so the classroom is still bustling with students scurrying between tables to chat with each other. Crap. Where was I supposed to sit again? Ah, uh, the floating menus are back. Oh boy. Uh, one seat from the back next to the windows, I guess? This is where all anime protagonists sit, so this is a safe bet. I find my way to the desk and take a seat. Let's see, if I remember correctly, Reme is in this class. My gaze sweeps over to the other side of the classrooms, where a number of notices were posted. Just as I remember from my playthrough, Reme stands by the bulletin, gazing at the science fair poster. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, she turns and makes eye contact with me. I quickly look away and took a notebook out of my bag. From the corner of my eye, I see her approach me as I flip open the notebook and write today's date. The pen trembles in my hand. No way, no way, no way! I didn't accidentally trigger her route, did I? Uh. You're in my seat. Oh no! Oh god! I flinch at the sound of her voice, a chill running down my spine. What do I say? What do I say? Uh, you're in my seat. Uh. Please, move. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Uh, no, the longer I make this encounter, the less of a stranger I'll become to her. I've got to do something now. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake. We stare silently at each other for several seconds. Her yellow-blue eyes look as dead and lifeless as I remember them to be. Then please, get out. Right, right, uh, of course. I gather my stuff and get out of the seat, which she takes immediately. I hurry to the other side of the classroom before casting a glance at her. She thankfully appears occupied with scribbling in a notebook. <sighs> Oi, what are you doing over here? Class is gonna start! Sorry, but could you tell me where my seat is? Woke up on the wrong side of the bed today? Something like that. It's the first one by the door. Thank you. Weirdo. Huh. My morning classes passed by surprisingly quickly when I haven't a clue what my teachers were saying. I've forgotten everything I learned in high school. Uh, I checked the schedule in the main character's binder. I should have class next. My eyes drift to the blank space atop the sheet next to name. How is it that I still haven't been able to discover my own name? Hey! Yeah. I jump as Leon taps me on the shoulder. Yeah, it's just me! You okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. What the hell? Class just ended. How did you find me so quickly in this crowd of people? You seem rather antsy today. Do I? Yeah, your voice just squeaked. Sorry, I have a lot on my mind. You want to talk about it? No, no, it's just uh, stuff. Now we're troubling you over. Hmm. I'll be the judge of that. You probably wouldn't say that if you know I'm not the main character you're head over heels for. Look, I... I'm just working through a few things. I promise, it's no big deal. Damn it, he doesn't look convinced. Leon promise it's no problem once i figure everything out you'll be the first one i talk to please just wait a little longer oh. okay uh, of course take all the time you need just remember i'll always be here to talk to you whenever you need to he grins at me then turns towards the cafeteria let's go get lunch um i can't believe that worked my little brother sits with his own friends again for lunch, so I've been stuck with Leon talking to me non-stop for the past 30 minutes. Breakfast was fine since it was so short, but lunch break is whole 45 minutes. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll come with you. No, no! no. Well, why not? Is, is this a red flag? Oh boy. Because... My eyes drift to our backpacks. I'm leaving my stuff here, so I need you to help me guard it. Please... Do it for me. I can't rely on anyone else. <laughs> of course. Leave it to me. <sighs> Finally, I get a breather. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I have to find a way to return to my own life. How does this work in anime and light novels? There should be a system or a god I can contact. <laughs> <sighs> Who's crying in here? I look around the room. That's when I notice the first stall is shut. Oh, leave! 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 The last thing anyone wants is to be pitied when they're crying. I'll just sneak out and find another bathroom. I walk towards the door, but right as I'm passing the stalls. Yeah, I knew it was Vincent! I knew it was you! I do not want to die! 
We stare at each other like deers caught in the headlight. His eyes are puffy from crying and his lips flutter open and close as he tries to determine whether to scream at me in anger or agony. Uh, oh god, no! I am leaving! I am leaving! Suddenly, Vincent reaches over and grabs me by the wrist. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, I struggle to find what to say. My mind flying on all directions. It just had to be Vincent. Why? I thought I avoided his route completely. In the game, the main character consoles Vincent before first period in the hallways. Why is the event still available during lunch? Wait, as long as I don't console him, I should be fine, right? But why if he gets angry at me for that? What if he hurts me? If he wanted someone transferred to another school, it happened. If he wanted someone to date him, it more or less happened. And if he wanted someone dead, that actually did happen. I swallow. Well, did you come and laugh at me? No. But no, I just came to use the bathroom. Mm. Then, go. What the hell are you standing around for? Yeah, no, my mistake. I'm... I turn to look at the urinals and back at him. He raises an eyebrow. I'll find another bathroom. Yeah, I get it. Everyone hates me that much. Stop being such a prissy prick! Seriously, Vincent! Oh god, I don't- oh. A sudden, unreasonable guilt tightens its jaw on my stomach. What? I get it. All anyone ever wants from me was my money. That's the only reason why they put up with me. No, not me, at least. Even after dying multiple times on this route, I never once thought that. That's not true. What am I saying? I'm supposed to run away, but... I don't dislike you at all. And it's not because of your money. I think you have great qualities outside of being rich. Like your determination and drive to get the things you want. Sure, it usually involves money, but you also don't let anyone get in the way of things you want. I think that's really admirable. Oh no. What did I just say? Consolation. I just gave him consolation. Really? Yeah, but I, uh, I gotta go. With that, I ran out of the bathroom. Damn it. That's a chance that Vincent will hate me for leaving like that and start some typical dating sim bullying, but I doubt I'll remain on his radar for long. It'll be worse if it takes a liking to me. I don't stop running until I'm back in the cafeteria. Leon quickly spots me and waves me over. <laughs> You're back. Yeah. I made sure all your stuff was safe and sound. Oh, uh, thanks. Is everything all right? Perfectly fine. Um, why? You look a little pale. The way he cares so much just makes my heart flutter. Tiny bit. It's nothing. I ran into some trouble in the bathroom, that's all. Trouble? Was someone bothering you? Police? I'll go take care of them for you. What? No, 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 no. It's just that he's not going to believe it's nothing anymore. If I want to stay on his route, I have to give him a firm answer. He likes it when I rely on him. Well, actually, I was having a hard time with this one guy in the bathroom. I knew it. Who was it? I'll go talk with him. No, no, please, don't. Actually, they were the one who was having a hard time, not me. I don't think Vincent would appreciate me telling others he was crying in the bathroom. Gossip travels fast in the school. So I was talking of him to help him feel a bit better. I didn't want to leave him alone. Leon's awfully quiet. When I shift my eyes back to him, his expression is unreadable and he's staring at me intently. Why isn't he saying anything? The bell rings and I quickly stand from the table. I have to get to class. Oh, right. I'll see you after school, Leon. Yeah, see ya. He knows. He knows. Why is my heart racing? All he did was look at me. There was nothing special yet. The way he was staring at me. Like he was paying attention to every minuscule twitch in my muscles. I shouldn't feel this way. Am I just conflating my time here with good moments from the game? Besides, it's not like any look he gives me are actually meant for me. Still, my heart thumps involuntarily hard against my ribcage, and a strange yearning catches my throat. I forcefully swallow it down. Stop it. Stop it. Leon is handsome, but his personality... Who knows when he'd snap? Besides, he's a video game character. Completely fictional. There's no point in getting excited over some pre-programmed code. Like, come on, I'm not the desperate for attention, am I? Ah! My head. Am I forgetting something? The rest of the day flies by uneventfully. Even the after-school ice cream session went through without a hitch. Finally, I arrived home. 
I kick up my shoes at the entrance and collapse on the couch with a loud sigh. Finally, a break from all these yandere's. Big bro. Bro, at least put your stuff away. You put some in the cabinet for me. Sorry. Thanks, little bro. Aww. Damn it. Why the main character have to have such good habits? This makes trying to stay inconspicuous so much harder. Uh -huh. Why are you so tired already? All we did was get ice cream. I just have a lot on my mind. Want to talk about it? Nah, not really. Well, okay. Wait, it's the little brother or son did it? Probably, I don't know. No, no, I didn't mean it that way. I appreciate the offer. I just, I just have to solve this on my own first. Sure. Sure. Sounds good, big bro. Yeah, I was just thinking, if you could rely on me a bit in the future, that'd make me really happy too. Ah, you're, you're a good boy. I'm always depending on you, so if I could return the favor somehow, just let me know. Anyway, I'll be going now. I've got homework to do, just let me know when dinner's ready. He disappears into his room and slams the door before I could say anything. Wow, the main character sure is lucky to have such a sweet little brother. Yeah, he is. I stare at the date box floating in the corner of my vision. This has to be the end of day one in the game. I have to survive 13 more days of this until Valentine's Day, when I go on a date with one of the Yandere's and hopefully don't get murdered. The game usually ends with the main character getting killed before or during the date. But what happens after 13 days? Do I get to leave the game and return to real life? I sure hope so. I just paid back all my student loans and I don't want to do that again. Aww. Also, assuming I'm on Leon's route, I don't want to spend the rest of my life ignoring all of his crimes. And besides, as good looking as he is, he isn't my real type. <sighs> I'll let future me worry about that. I have to focus on surviving till Valentine's Day first. Oh. Huh. Okay, here we go. February 3rd. I stare into the mirror, making the most confident and determined expression I could master. I can do it. I'll definitely survive till Valentine's Day. One step at a time. And the main event for today is getting invited to Leon's basketball game tomorrow. Huh? Now that I think about it, why would he do that? I'm his best friend. It should have been a given that I go. I guess the game was written away for the benefit of the player. Tell the friend scenario is so difficult to write with all the information the writer needs to dump on the reader. They must have added the scene so the player isn't abruptly thrown into the baseball game. Anyway, let's get out of here. Task 1. Make breakfast. What's that smell? Did we forget to take the trash out yesterday? N nothing at all. I toss the contents of the pan into the garbage and try it again. Ah! Yeah, don't throw that in there! Huh? It'll melt the plastic! Ah! Wait, what? No one needs to see the next few attempts. <clears throat> Miraculously, I eventually made something edible. Also, based on the expression my brother made, it was definitely not as good as the protagonist's usual cooking. I'll consider this task a success. Create a Yandere buffer zone. Aww. Please save me, little bro. Alright, alright, let go of my arm. What's the matter with you, big bro? Nothing, I just want to spend more time with you. Actually, I just really don't want to be alone with Leon again. Uh. He's not buying it. Does this have to do with what you were worried about yesterday? Yeah, kinda. <sighs> he let out a huff and crosses his arms. Fine, I'll go to school with you. Thank you so much. I pull him into a hug, which he makes a choke sound for before relaxing and waiting for me to let go of him. Hey, sorry I was running a little late. Good morning. Ah, you're here too? Yeah, is that a problem? No, it's, it's just a little unexpected. Leon shifts his gaze at me, a small frown present on his face. He doesn't look upset, but he certainly doesn't look happy either. Well, we should hurry or we'll miss the train. We arrive at school half an hour before first period. Alright, see you later, big bro. Uh, wait! No What's the matter with you? I, I want to spend some time with my friends too. Before I can say anything, he runs off. No! no my buffer zone! What's that about? Did you get into a fight with him? What? No, of course not! Aren't you gonna get breakfast? Uh, yeah, uh, I wonder what they have today. Smile returns to Leon's face and I find myself smiling back at him. How could I not? He looks so innocent like this. I wait with him in line to get breakfast and we find an empty table in the back of the cafeteria to sit. Why hasn't he asked me to attend his basketball game yet? <sighs> Task 3. Receive basketball game invite. Um, <clears throat> Huh? 
how's practice been? Pretty good. Yeah, I think we're gonna win tomorrow. Oh, great! Do, do I have to drop more hints? Hey, Leon, you want me to be at your game tomorrow? Of course, why wouldn't I? You'll be able to come, right? No, no, I'll definitely be there. Finally. I guess transmigration adds a level of realism to the whole story. Oh, you're going to be at a game? Me too. What are you doing here, Vin the Vincent? Why is he here? Before I could protest, Vincent slides into the seat next to me. He leans in until our shoulders touch and presses his weight against me. Uh, okay, I understand, Leon. Like, get him off of me, please. Let's meet up for the game, okay? What, me? Yeah, I want to spend more time with my new best friend. God freaking damn it. Like, no. Why did we become friends? Is this because of yesterday? But I ran off. How do you conclude that I want to be his friend? I, uh... He leans close to me and goes a finger under my chin. What is he... Is he going to... You don't want to go as friends? Then we can make it a date instead. Excuse me? No! Suddenly, someone yanks Vincent off of me. I look up to find Leon glaring down at us. <laughs> can I help you? What do you think you're doing? Vincent stands. He's not as tall as Leon, but his demeanor is intimidating enough that it doesn't matter. He stares Leon straight in the eye and smirks up at him. <laughs> Flirting with him. You got a problem with that? What? <laughs> you. Hey, if you like someone, you do something about it. Better than beating around the bush for years. You do not do my Leon dirty like that. You do not do Leon dirty like that. Vincent laughs as he leans against me again, throwing a, an arm around my shoulder and pulling me in a one-arm hug. Excuse me! But we've got nothing to say, Leon. Then scram. Leon's eyes narrow dangerously, and his fists shake as he clenches them. Oh, no, oh, no, no! Hey, hey, hey! I reach and grab one of Leon's hands. The shaking stops, his fingers unfurling slightly as he moves to ghost over my thumb. Oh. <sighs> The murderer's edge disappears from his expression, and he retracts his hand from mine. Mm -hmm. Leon, I'll definitely come to your game tomorrow night to cheer you on. I'll definitely do my best for you, out there. Don't look so happy, man. You should bring your A-game, even if I'm not attending. And Vincent, I'm very flattered, but we just met. It would be better if we just went as friends. <laughs> Vincent closes his eyes with a huff of annoyance. That's fine. I'll win you over one way or another. No! You do not do my Leon dirty like that. He gives a cocky smirk as he stands and leans towards me. Huh? I take a step back, only to crash into Leon's chest. His hand grips my shoulder to help steady me, but it doesn't take a step back to give me space. Why am I stuck between both of them? I, I'm in a yandere sandwich and I love this. Oh God, he's closer. <laughs> Vincent leans closer still and tilts his head so that his lips are almost touching my ears. I flinch, feeling Leon's hand tighten on my shoulders in response. My heart rate accelerates. Oh god, I'm in a yandere sandwich! <laughs> I need to get out of here fast, but my feet remain glued to the ground! I'll see you tomorrow night then. I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. Don't worry. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, that is me! <laughs> that is me! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Leon finally starts back, pulling me with him. <laughs> Flirting with him, of course. You're in high school. Don't tell me you still don't understand what it's like. Uh, Leon stares at him. But Vincent ignores it completely and turns to me instead. <sighs> ah, I'll pick you up at six, honey. And Leon, good luck at your game. I hope you, tr I hope you trip and fall on your. F yes, screw you, Vincent. Vincent. Vincent just laughs as he walks off. Okay, you don't. I Vincent wasn't my type to begin with. I was hoping that he would have some traits that, you know, I could get behind. But now, honestly, I would love to join Leon in his killing spree. And perhaps, you know, Vincent could be out there on our list. I wouldn't want him to be the first because he doesn't deserve that honor. Oh, my God. I... What? I couldn't believe that just happened. I know they're yonder is, but personal space! Personal space! But, Leon... 
and recognize that look from the game. The main character sees it for the first time in the route, but Leon makes that face when he's plotting a person's murder. Huh? Wait, why did I get to see it early in the game then? In fact, why did Vincent show up to us to join me for the basketball game? This didn't happen in the original storyline. Hey, huh? huh? Do you like guys like that? Do you like him? What? No freaking way! If you like him, he pauses. Mm. If you like him, I'll accept that. You're my best friend. If you're happy with him, I'll be happy for you. Okay. You're not my dad, man. If you don't like him, I'll kill him. What? No. No. Leon, you understand? You have to understand something here. Okay? You don't kill him. We kill him. Okay? We kill him. All right? That's how it works around here. I knew something like that was coming, but somehow I'm still off guard. Leon, well, do you like him or not? Hold the damn phone! If I say no, Vincent dies, but if I say yes, but I still be able to stay on Leon's route. The smart thing to do here is to say no, but I... I think back to Vincent crying alone, thinking the world had turned against him. I remember how loving he was in his route, the way he pampered the main character. Not to mention his heart-wrenching reaction when he found the protagonist dead in the bad ends. Why? Why do I feel this way? Seriously, it's just a game. Even if he dies, it's just code. Yet, I look at the choices again. If I say yes and end up on Vincent's route, he has some good ends too. Maybe one where I'll never see the light of day again, but we're still there's still good ends. Leon stares at me, waiting for an answer, as my eyes flip between the two options that stand between us. I... Oh, come on, couldn't there be any other choices? I jolt as the many options change. What? How? Actually, no point in wondering. I need to pick an answer. Just don't kill him, I guess. Please, don't kill him. Oh. Yeah, I was exaggerating. I wouldn't actually kill him. You wouldn't? I might break a few of his bones. But what you're telling me is, you don't like him? I don't. Honestly, I don't like Vincent. <laughs> Even if I don't like him, please, don't kill him, Leon. It'd be disappointing to attend a funeral during a senior year. Oh. Of course, I won't do anything that upsets you. My sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. His dedication is so sweet. I really love that about him. You have reached the end of this demo. Thank you so much for playing. Ah, I love it. Would you like a fortune talk? Oh, sure, little bro. Hell yeah. Uh, Vincent is totally going to kill- Excuse me! Please, please look forward to the full game's release. <sighs> anyway, that was stuck in a Yandere visual novel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. A link to the game is in the description below. And from what I'm hearing, um... Demo 2.0 is actually coming out uh, later this year. I think like December 31st. So, hey, I'm going to be looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And hey, I will be seeing you in the very near future. This is Lionel, signing out. Ciao.